So in part two, we set up our mole to move through the different holes or to the different holes. And basically what we need to do now is set up our hits and our misses. Okay, so we are going to, and y'all's, uh, when you actually hit reset and when you click it right now, y'all shouldn't work. I was just testing out and I haven't reset my emulator. So that's why it's working. Um, so I'm going to walk you guys through those blocks. You want to go to the mole component here, and you want to get when the mole is touched. Make sure it says touched there. When the mole is touched, we want the hit value to go up. So we're going to go to hit value. So we're going to set the hit value text to, and we're going to use the plus sign. we're gonna set it to the hit value plus one so hit value text plus one we're also going to when the mole is touched we're gonna to use our buzzer that we've added and the buzzer is gonna be a little different we're gonna have the call the buzzer to vibrate so your phone will vibrate and we're gonna set the amount for 100 milliseconds so I'm just gonna duplicate this number one block and I'm gonna set the buzz or the vibrate to 100 and when the mole is touched we also want the mole to move again so you want to go up to your procedure and get the call move mole procedure so when the moles touch the hit value on your emulator will increase okay your phone will buzz for 100 milliseconds and the mole will move it'll call the mole move mole procedure we also need to set it up so that when you touch the canvas that the misses um, will be counted so you want to go to the game canvas and scroll down and get the one that says game canvas dot touched so when the game canvas is touched and we're going to use the control block if then so if is a test so we want to test and we want to get this not block here we want to test that the image sprite is not the mole so we're going to use the equal sign to do that So you want to get this touch sprite, and then under the mole, you'll scroll down to the very bottom and get mole. So when the can game canvas is touched, if the image sprite that is touched is not the mole, then we want the misses value to increase by one. So we'll go to the misses value, and we're going to set the misses value text to plus one so we'll go to math we'll go back to the misses value and get the misses value text and we'll add a value of one okay now if you try this out when you do this and you click on the mole you'll notice that the misses goes up as well so I can sit here, I can touch the game canvas, the misses will go up. If I try to touch the mole, you'll notice that the hits and the misses increase. So what you need to do is up here, under when mole's touched, this is what I found. You want to get this block, we're going to copy it and paste it. But what we're going to do is we are going to subtract one so that it equals out. So we'll use a math block. We'll take the misses value and we'll subtract one. Okay, and you may need to refresh your emulator or your phone when you do this. But now when you touch the mole, the only thing that should go up, and it's working, is the hits. Okay, so you have mole touch done and you have the game canvas done. The last thing you need to do is set up the reset button. So we're going to go to the reset button. When the reset button is clicked, 
we're going to reset the value of the hits and the misses. So let's, you can right click and duplicate this block here. And we want to set the value of the hits and the misses to zero. And once you have this one set up, you can duplicate it, connect it underneath, and then use the drop down. And select the hits value. So now, when you go to your emulator or your phone and you press the reset button, they both go back to zero. Okay. So once you have that done, you are done with part three. Okay. You basically have a working game now. Um, the only thing to, there's some other stuff we can do to it. We can add in like a speed up procedure and uh, maybe some other stuff. And we'll do that in part four.